pandan honeycomb cake. Yay. Okay, just gonna eat it more. It's squishy. Oh yeah. First step is to put your oven in bake mode, 350, and start. Second step is to oil your pan with vegetable oil. Okay, so here are the ingredients that you need to make Vietnamese pandan honeycomb cake. You need one can of coconut, one pack of baking powder, pandan extract, you need your measuring cups and measuring spoons, you need this strainer here, and of course, a bowl, vanilla extract, rice flour, and tapioca starch. Okay. But this is actually the third step. Knead a pot, open the coconut milk. How could I forget? You also need sugar. We're gonna put one and a half cups of sugar in the coconut milk. When you are measuring for baking, make sure you level the ingredient with the measuring cup. So it's 1.5, that was 0.5, and now we have the one cup of sugar. We're gonna put this in low heat and mix this until the sugar is melted. Now I have an induction stove, so this should be real quick. You don't want the coconut and sugar to be too hot because when you put this in the solution, the batter solution, you don't want it to cook the batter. You can tell when there's no more white crystals on your whisk. Just gonna double check. Okay, good, because I don't know if you can see it in the spoon, but there's no crystals. And there's no, there's no more crystals. So this is done. I'm gonna leave it there to cool. Two eggs, three eggs, four eggs, five, six eggs, seven eggs, and eight eggs, eight eggs. Okay, and you beat it really lightly. Just make sure the egg yolk is broken. Okay, I'm gonna place the coconut and sugar solution in this. Okay, now for the dry ingredients. Okay, my dry ingredients consist of tropical starch. I'm gonna put one bag of this. That is 400 grams of tropical starch. 400 grams of tropical starch in the dry bowl, dry ingredient bowl. Okay, then we have one bag of baking powder. And the baking powder is 14 grams here, this bag, and it's gluten-free. This cake is gluten-free, so keep that in mind, especially if you have friends that are gluten intolerant or gluten, yeah, gluten intolerant. So I'm gonna make this for my friend that's coming over. One tablespoon of rice flour. That's the dry ingredients. Now we're gonna melt one tablespoon of butter, add two drops or two teaspoons of pandan abstract. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm gonna make sure it gets out of the spoon, so I'm gonna mix it with the butter. 
and the vanilla extract. Okay, so now I'm going to set this aside and then start putting in the dry ingredients. So just mix the ingredients together. Try to do it as gently as possible. That's why you do this with your hands and not with a blender. Now I'm going to put in the Pan Am extract. I'm going to mix it while I'm pouring it in to make sure that it doesn't stay at the bottom. Okay, that looks good. You don't have to mix it. It should still be clumpy. I'm going to take this one. Hopefully this bowl is big enough. Pour it in the strainer. Okay, and you just try to get this all mixed up by using the strainer. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to go again the second time. And that's drained really easy as you can see. And that's what you want. Okay, that was done pretty quick. So now I'm just going to do it one more time before I put it in the hot pan. You can do this two times, uh, which is probably easier, and three times maximum, but no more than three times. Okay, that's pretty much done. I'm going to move this aside. Now I have this hot pan that I just took out of the oven, and I'm going to place the batter all over the pan. I don't know if you heard it, but it had a sizzling sound. And that's because the pan was hot enough, okay? And this is what is going to make the cake crispy on the outside. Okay, now I'm going to immediately put this in the oven that was already preheated to 350 in the oven that I just took this hot pan out. You have to make sure that the rack is in the center of the oven. Okay, okay I put the timer on for 50 minutes and it was 350 degrees. So now we just wait. Turn the oven off. I forgot to mention, you have to make sure you don't open the oven while it's cooking. Okay, so here is the cake. Show you what I'm gonna do. I have my drying rack here, and then I'm going to flip it upside down. Actually, I'm gonna do this first. I actually made a mistake. You weren't supposed to take it out of the pan until 30 minutes later. That's why, voila, you have some of the crispy parts stuck on the pan. My bad, but it still looks good. Let's cut it to see. It's squishy. So now it's time to cut it. Yay. Ooh, it looks good. Like squishy. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat it now. Mmm, that's good. It's called ban bo because it looks like beef intestines. And bo means like beef. Beef, yeah. But um, the English name pandan honeycomb cake. Yeah. Okay, just gonna eat it more. Mmm, good. Guys, try it. Mmm.